we spent the rest of yesterday just visiting with Rosie. And today we're gonna meet up with her and go down and check out some more of the architecture in the area, some of the bridges in this beautiful city. I have already fallen in love with Portugal and we've been here like 30 hours. <laughs> the sun feels good. It's, it's a little chilly, but it's beautiful. So, there's my word. Anyways, off we go to meet Rosie for lunch. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're at Cafe Santiago. And the lady at our hostel, Aunt, which is a local, recommended this place. And I had it on the best place to get this smothered sandwich, Francesina sandwich. This place is the one that actually started it in 1953 or 63. And today, guest starring, we have Rosie. I'll probably have the sausage. That's what she said. And there it is. Oh, famous Francesina. Wow. Giant panini, press them down. Oh, yeah. that's pretty. I like the salad. Thank you. Thank you, Francesina. And here is the. And that's Andrea, and she is awesome. All right, I was wrong. The original sandwich did not have the fries and did not have the egg. And I got the sauce on the side because it's supposed to be smothered and it's a, a spicy tomato with beer and wine. And wine. And meat. And meat. Oh. Which is why that's a Katie dish. Yeah. Personally, me, I would have the sauce on the side. It's a, a little bit of a bite because I'm not a wine drinker, but I can really taste the wine in it. Cheese, meat, bread, two types of meats, ham, and the egg. That's amazing. That's a heart attack on a plate. And to really get us in the mood, there is actually a snow patrol video on the TV playing in the restaurant. Oh, there it is. Got all of the different layers. Oh, one bite. Oh my god, clearly I can't do the sauce. But that sandwich, wow, that's insane. I'm probably gonna pay the price for that little bit of white bread I just ate, but I think it's gonna be worth it. It's got layers of stuff. But I gotta tell you, the sauce is amazing. It's so good. It's like Heinz ketchup, but not. It's just like Hellman's. We have the replacement sauce. <laughs> This is camel drool. It's basically a dolce de leche mousse, if you will. She brought it for everybody. Katie got a spoon, Rosie got a spoon, and Andrea brought me a <laughs> <Yes>. spoon. <laughs> I'm in my happy place. I like the walnuts on top, and then it's just a slight little creamy and just barely sweet. But it's really good. I definitely have this again. And it's cold, which was amazing because I thought it was something you drink. Now it's time to go walk. Yeah. Walk up. That was a wonderful lunch. Franchette, what was her name? Uh, Andrea. Andrea. Oh my goodness, she had me in tears. She made me laugh so hard. The sandwich was wonderful. They did say that after you eat it, you have to take a nap. But we're gonna go for a walk, but I do want a nap. <laughs> but then we'll take a nap. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee, oh, <laughs> coffee. Let's go for coffee. thinks we are going up there. Nope, I'm sorry. How many of the cats do you want to pet? All the cats. <laughs> These are the street pigeons of Porto. That is a seagull being an asshole. Yeah, you. 
this is where I started my uh, Camino de Santiago at. You know, most people don't have the luxury of just picking up and leaving it all behind, Daniel. We came here a couple of days ahead of time and you go inside this building, which I think also doubles as a hostel. People have walked the path for over a thousand years. You go inside and you ask the guy for the uh, pilgrim's passport. Come. This is the way. For two euros, you can get your passport and your first uh, credential, which is a stamp. I have a, a passport with different stamps on it from every place that we stopped or stayed or ate. Once you get to Santiago, then you get a certificate saying that you've completed your Camino. You don't choose a life, Dad. You live one. Right down here is where we met John Cusack. I see this guy sitting at the next table for me. I was like, but nobody ever said you look like John Cusack. And he's like, yeah, I get that all the time. Not realizing that it was actually him. <laughs> I said, I love his sister. This is really John Cusack. And I've already looked like a dumbass in front of him. <laughs> so we had the best conversation with him. So nice and friendly. I just found out how we're getting back up there. So we always talk about how no matter where we are in the world, we always get to go ducks because of my shirts. Well, we got a bit of the opposite here. Yes, oh, we, live, we live in Columbus, Ohio and- Oregon, Knox off Ohio State. Let's go box. <laughs> yes, Buckeyes, but I'm still gonna take your picture. Ohio State loses for the first time at home since 2017. I'm sure this will be a great photo. <laughs> about Europe is all the ancient architecture. And look at this, I've never seen one of these. Wow. Here we observe a wild Rosie in a natural habitat, staring at a phone, looking for directions for her next adventure. <laughs> look at this, we're gonna have to start the Big Mac Country Challenge again. That's the map for the Camino de yeah. Santiago. So, Katie, okay, remember that? Okay, fine. Don't make me laugh. I'll have to walk like this. What's <laughs> the matter, Katie? So, remember that time when we walked to the Camino de Santiago? Yes, like right now. I don't think we're going to get our credentials, though, but we can say that we walked the Camino with Rosie. That's true. And we're not technically lying. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> Love walking around the city, but one of the hard parts, and it's a good physical part, is walking up all these stairs. Wait, what? Hey! What the? Cheers! Bye, Chris! Come here, we're too cool! Can't find good help these days. I'm doing it for Rosie. She's been walking stairs for two months. on these buildings is just insane. This road was opened in 1784. That's old. It's very old. Tis the season, almost. Um, what kind of a store is this? 
with that jacket though. Well, I think we're about done recording for the day. Uh, we're just gonna walk around a little bit more. It's, you can record everything. There's just so much that is gorgeous and amazing around this city. But you know, we're just gonna spend some time chilling, drinking some coffee, wandering around a little bit more. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. Sounds good. I would say my favorite part of the day was our waitress at uh, Cafe Santiago. Yeah. Yes, she made me laugh so hard I cried. You really did, like tears. I did, tears streaming down my face. You <laughs> cry, it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? It's just so awesome to be in Europe, okay. The girl that did not want to go to Europe because she thought, oh, it's old. I don't need to see it. I said, no, when I get old, I'm supposed to go. Not when, okay. I'll just stop digging a hole. <laughs> <laughs> and Rosie. My favorite part of the day was um, the escalators. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty awesome. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Make the, the thumbs, thumbs up, up and, and subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody. Well, we would like to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free to you, but really helps your channel grow. So mash that subscribe button and don't forget to like. I clicked your like button. Aww. Boop. Don't forget IP.